Hello, everyone. My name is Ili Lu uh, from China Agricultural University. Today, I want to share my publication in 2019 on an improved thermal TDR sensor for monitoring soil thermal properties, water content, soil bulk density, and porosity. So I want to thank all my co-authors. So what is a thermal TDR sensor? So a thermal TDR sensor integrates the function of a heatable sensor for measuring soil thermal properties, as well as integrates a TDR sensor for measuring soil water content. So we can see from this picture here that typically a thermal TDR sensor consists of three probes. So in the middle probe, it can release a heat pulse to heating the soil. And the other probes are the sensing probe that can get soil temperature measurements some distance away from the heater. So all these three probes are connected to the coaxial cables to get TDR waveforms. So from all these measurements, a thermal TDR sensor can get soil temperature, water content, soil thermal properties, dielectric constant, electrical conductivity, air field porosity, water saturation porosity, and soil bulk density. So the most advantage of this type of sensor is that we can use it to get in situ and simultaneous readings with the same sampling volume. So the study objectives. We found that the original design has several weaknesses and field conditions. When we insert a probe into soil, because uh, the probe uh, radius is very thin, so the probe may deflect. And also, it's small sampling volume, and it also ignores the finite pro properties when estimating soil thermal properties. So in our study, we want to conquer these problems to develop a more rigid thermal TDR sensor design with a larger sampling volume, and also want to improve its measurement accuracies by including finite probe properties by integrating other theories. So this is our sensor design. You can see from this picture here, uh, our sensor is much larger than the uh, original design uh, with longer probe lengths, probe spacing. We have a very robust sensor with a, uh, the very thick wall tubing. And also we put several thermal couples within one sensing probe to enable us to make the in-situ corrections of the probe spacing. So we also found that the new sensor has a sensing volume about three times than the original design. We think it's a, a very big improvement compared to the original design. So for the experiment uh, setup is that here is a circuit panel to control the thermal TDR sensor to release the heat pulse. And also the sensor can connect it to the cable tester or the TDR100 device. And all these measurements were made and a data logger can automatically record these measurements like temperature rise by time data and also it can uh, record say TDR waveforms. So we update the data processing algorithms by estimating so thermal properties from temperature measurements using the SAPC theory here, which accounts for finite probe radius and heat capacity. And we improve um, by estimating the electric constant from TDR waveforms by integrating uh, bounded mean escalation theory into our calculations. And we obtain the soil water content from top equation using the uh, electric constant. And finally, soil bulk density can be obtained from these two measurements of soil thermal properties, like soil heat capacity and the thermal conductivity, as well as the TDR water content. Accordingly, soil porosity, air field porosity can be derived. This is the uh, results. Uh, we tested the new thermal TDR sensor on five soils. We can see from this figure that the, the measured uh, sensor measured for volumetric heat capacity, 
thermal diffusivity, thermal conductivity is all showing very well uh, results with the estimated values from the models. So we can also find the um, PDR water content results agrees very well with the actual values. And from the more accurate TDR water contents and soil thermal properties, we can get accurate soil bulk density, porosity, and air field porosity. We can see from this finger all these three parameters agree very well with the actual values. So we conclude that the new sensor provides reliable measurements of soil water content, bulk density, porosity, and air field porosity. Um, so we want to highlight that this uh, new thermal TDI center is a very valuable tool for studying the coupled water heat and solute transport in non rigid soils where the soil bulk density may, may vary with time under field conditions. So thanks for your attention.